to all my pen friends all over the world. Yes, uh, I've been receiving emails about the virus. The corona is not a ignoring kind of virus to take for granted. Uh, but also, I want to just voice this out. By panicking, is not going to do you or anybody else any good. Yes, very cautious. Don't take anything for granted. Always be aware and use good hygiene skills. That's our best battle against the virus. Uh, I use a lot of the Lysol disinfectant wipes. Better than nothing. May not be the best, but it better than nothing. Uh, I am putting together my own hand sanitizer because all the stores that we've been through, people have panicked and not bought two, three, or four, but buy, bought all the cases. One lady bought a case. I think there's like 36, 48 bottles in a case. Uh, another person, there was a whole shelf of hand sanitizers. He bought all three shelves of hand sanitizers. All of them. Wow. So, toilet paper as well. People just buy them off the shelves, stocking up three or four grocery carts full of them. Uh, it's just crazy out here now. So, uh, I went and bought alcohol. Alcohol is scarce as well. So, they recommend 65 and over. Uh, so, you know, I've been trying to find the 70 and 80, but that's no longer available. So, I have found some 65% alcohol, which is good. And I am going to put together my own hand sanitizers with some, uh, is that La Vera, Mr. Aloe Vera. Aloe Vera. Uh, and then uh, I am going to add to that the, uh, I'm looking at it right now, the essential oils, the fruit, to give it a peppermint kind of uh, smell when you put it on your hands. And of course, uh, I'm going to be getting some small bottles for hand sanitizers to put it in. Uh, and then I'm going to be working on another solution uh, to make can spray on tables and stuff. Totally different. So I'll be doing that. Uh, Mr. Announcer, as you well know, works in a school. Uh, he teaches. And uh, he already got his notice uh, last, was it last week? Yeah, uh, Friday. Would you like to explain it? You know, yes, our, our normal spring break is next week. And then they, the district decided to extend the uh, break for two more weeks after that. And actually, uh, pretty much all of the schools in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex are doing that. So we closed for three weeks and doing online teaching. Also, a lot of colleges have closed, TCU as well. Uh, some friends of mine that go to college, uh, their, their kids in Charlottesville. Uh, is it Charlottesville area? What is that college? LSU? Is that Louisiana, Louisiana yeah, State so, University? Uh, somewhere in Charlottesville. Okay, uh, That college has closed down. Uh, Los Angeles, a college there that I know a friend of mine, his son goes there, is closed down. So a lot of colleges as well throughout the U.S. have been shutting down. Uh, to about April, I'm hearing. April 18th, maybe. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, a lot of churches, I found out today, have closed. Um, one, two, three, uh, four churches have closed that I know of. Uh, and there's a couple that are still open, so the folks went to either Mass or to church services today. Uh, so the big thing right now is getting together with large crowds. Well, what is a large crowd to you? Uh, 10, 20, 50, 100, of course. Uh, I meet at Starbucks all the time, and I haven't changed that. 
and I'm not going to change it, but I'm going to be cautious. Now, that doesn't mean I'm just going to go in there blind. Uh, Starbucks has been doing a really good job of keeping tables and everything wiped down clean. And when I go there, I wipe the table down again, or they will come and wipe the table down for me. Uh, they're keeping everything they can that they have control of clean. So they're doing a great job on doing that. So uh, I want to give a compliment and hands-on claps to Cody for her store in Starbucks, for Sky for her store, store in uh, Fort Worth at Starbucks, and for uh, Ivan for his store in Fort Worth in, for Starbucks. So all three managers are on top of things. They're doing everything humanly possible to try to keep the virus contained as much as humanly possible. But it has spread here in Texas. It's like everywhere. Houston, I think there's seven cases that have broken out now. In Fort Worth, there was how many cases? Two? Three now, I think. Three now. And uh, one of them, yeah, uh, I know right where it's at. It's across from the TCU uh, campus. Uh, I think it's a Presbyterian church right there on... Uh, uh, off of Stadium Drive and uh, Barry, huh? Barry and Barry. Okay, no, not no. That one's on Stadium Drive and another side street that uh, I don't think that's Barry Street. What I'm talking about because that's the same street that McLean Junior High School in St Andrews is on. But anyway, so uh, a lot's been going on in Fort Worth. Uh, there's one, a few, one or few in Frisco. You said? Several in Collin County, yes. How about, was there one in, uh, oh, not, was it Alvarado? That sounds right. No, okay. So, uh, none yet in uh, Lido, correct? Correct. So, uh, but it's spreading. Uh, and, uh, but again, panic is not the thing to do. Panic is not going to fight the corona. Uh, don't let the corona get the best of you. Yes, take precautions. And I say that because if you don't take precautions and just leave yourself wide open, maybe you might get it. But, you know, good hygiene. Keep your hands clean. Keep your tables clean. Uh, when going to the restroom, you touch the handle. Have to use the restroom. Wash your hands real good. Get a paper towel and open that door with a paper towel. If they don't have a paper towel and just the machines that do the air job on your hands, you'll have to uh, use the your hand to open that the door. So when you get to your table, hopefully you'll carry some uh, hand sanitizers, which I always carry hand sanitizers. So uh, I always clean my hands. Uh, so, do the best you can do that you have control of. We don't have control of the virus. We know that. Uh, but we do have control within ourselves to keep that contained with, from us as much as humanly possible. Uh, stocking up on food for 14 days that's a good idea, but don't do it where you're going berserk and panicking. I've seen people at stores, one person for a family of three, stocking up not one, not two, not three, four carts full of food. So, you know, I, I don't understand it. Let's talk about the mask for a little bit. See a lot of people wearing the mask. The mask is not going to do you any good. The surgical mask, if you paid attention and kept up with this killer flu, uh, the coronavirus will go through the mask and into your system. When you see people, like in hospitals that are wearing it, it will contain the virus that you have in from coming out. That's what I've heard. I've checked with doctors, nurses, medical people. That's 
the input that's given to me. Oh, so I've investigated thoroughly. Why? Because I'm one of those of age folks with some health issues, lots, uh, that if I get it, I'm pretty much done. Uh, but let's say I do get it. I'm just not going to sit there and do nothing. I'm going to fight it to the best of my ability, fight it all the way down. So don't just think I'm going to sit here and do nothing. I'm going to do what I can to help me live a little longer. Because God knows I still got a lot of love and energy to give out. So, and my pins are right there with me, right? So, uh, here's Cubby. And, you know, dogs can get it too. So, take care of your pets. Uh, they don't need that stuff. So, again... You know, I've got word from the UK through my pen pals, Spain, Australia, Switzerland, they're telling me really, really bad. Um, where else? Mm, Germany, did I say Australia? Uh, the Netherlands. Um, Uh, I'm sure I'm missing some places I'm forgetting. Uh, did I say Costa Rica? Costa Rica's one of them. Uh, France. I got pin pals in France as well. Um, Italy's pretty bad off, but yeah, I don't... I got two pin pals in Italy, and they're telling me, they say, Larry, it's really, really bad here in Italy. A lot of... Uh, uh, their friends and families have come down with it. One pen pal has even said that uh, he has a relative now that's in quarantine for the 14 days they're going to do that. So I've got pen pals all over the world, not just in the U.S., but uh, in the U.S. I must have, I think, 20 pen pals that I speak of. But out in the world, I must have another that I never really count into my a pen pal, that's how many I have, because I try to keep them separate, my U.S. from my, uh, that are here in the U.S., and then people that are outside of the U.S., I think I have like 20, 27 of them, so, uh, but everybody's, you know, getting back to me saying how bad it is, and some say it's not really bad yet, but they had a lot of cases, so, uh, Again, people, it's not time to freak out. It's not time to push panic button. This is a time that we don't want to do that. Stay as calm as possible for yourself, for your friends, for your family. Be a leader now. Uh, be the one that you, lets them know with some good positive reinforcement that we can do this. We can beat this the best we can with uh, personal hygiene. Uh, Keep those hands clean. Keep things that we touch clean. If you touch something uh, unsure of, or even if you're not unsure of, clean your hands. Use that hand sanitizer. Use it. Use it. Last but not least, I heard from a, I think it was a Japanese doctor, uh, to drink water every 15 minutes if possible because that virus is airborne. Are you with me? Isn't that right, Mr. Announcer? Yes. Yeah, so it's, those molecules are everywhere. Uh, and if you breathe them in, they'll go in through your mouth, down in your throat, first of all. So drinking that water every 15 minutes will help flush the corona down into your stomach, you're saying. And there that's contained, and of course it'll come out when it comes out. But... Uh, if it stays in the throat, it'll go up and through your uh, nasal cavities and spread, and then that's pretty much it. So that makes a lot of sense, I think. So, you know, uh, you do what you want, but I'm just trying to give you my input on what I'm doing and trying to help all my friend friends all over the world in the U.S. to not panic. This is a time to dig in in the trenches, and let's fight this thing together. Let's do our best to not spread the virus. Uh, I've reached out to some folks 
that uh, are sellers in pin shows uh, and ask about if any of the pin shows are going to be closed. Because, you know, large gatherings. And so far, he and they have said they have not heard anything yet. It's a possibility, possibility they said that some can be canceled. It just depends. Uh, and then I asked, there, will there probably be less people at the pin show? They're pretty sure there will probably be less people because of the large gatherings. So uh, it's kind of scary. Uh, our Fort Worth Pin Club, we're going to have that. Uh, that's coming up, uh, what, next week? And uh, there's not going to be as many. I think five of us were going to come. Uh, Doc, uh, Doc's going to be there. Mr. Announcer, myself, Janice, her son, and who knows if somebody else shows up. But uh, we're still going strong. We'll meet at the Paris Cof not at the uh, Dixie Cafe. Uh, the restaurants haven't been very busy at all. We go out to eat still. Uh, not a whole lot going on, so not really worried about being around large crowds there. Um, so, again, when we go there, uh, don't cough on your hands, cough on your shoulder or arm, hand sanitizers, make sure the table is clean. If you touch anything, you know, always make sure you use that hand sanitizer at all times, have it ready, whether it be safe and sorry. Uh, so that plus uh, not if you're going to meet a group of people don't try to sit too close to them try to have a little distance if you can uh, Starbucks let's go back to Starbucks now uh, what Starbucks is doing to try to help fight this virus, and I commend Starbucks on this because they're thinking about their partners, which the baristas and the patrons, uh, they will no longer accept any tumblers, coffee mugs that anyone brings in from the outside uh, because of the virus. Uh, they don't want anybody to hand it to one of their workers and spread that virus just in case that they do have it. So they're giving a, they still have a sign up there. They're still giving 10 cents off for those who have mugs or any kind of uh, tumblers, containers that they bring in. So, and that's cool. And uh, so we use their own cups now. So when you order, let's say me, I order my Vanilla latte, grande, that's a 16 ounce, five pumps of vanilla. When I get done with that, if I order another one, they'll give you a fresh cup. Anytime you order, you'll get a fresh cup. And they're always in the stores clean. Clean, clean, clean. They, they have to. They're doing what they can. So be aware of that. They're keeping the tables clean. Uh, when I went this morning, I got there about 750 uh, the baristas told me that I'm only the first person to come in and actually stay in the lobby. They had one more that came in and left, then one more and left, and they had only three people that came in through the drive through But around 9.30ish, 10 o'clock, people started coming in. I think I left there about, oh, I'd say 10.50 or so, there was about maybe 15, 20 people in the drive through was starting to pick up. And all the Starbucks have been that way. It's kind of uh, empty when you go into one. No one's coming out early like they have been. But they do get there later. So, that's the latest update here in Fort Worth, Texas. And what I know in the United States. Uh, again, don't panic. Uh... And I want you to know, yes, I'm scared to death. I'm not going to BS that one bit. Uh, because if one of us guys here in the house gets it, we're all going to get it. We all will be in quarantine for 14 days. And 
Let's see. Alan has health issues, so that's not good, but he's younger. I have the health issues. I'm older. That's not good. And, and Mr. Announcer, do you have any health issues? Yeah, you're diabetic. Diabetic, yeah. So that's not good, but he's younger. But they have, both are diabetic, so they're, they're still in that uh, category as risk. And I, I do get bronchitis rather easily. So, there you go. So, uh, I know Big Bad Brad, his wife's name is... Amra. Amra, bless her heart. She, well, they live in Wisconsin. Okay, Big Bad Brad on A... Amra. No. Oh, they live in Janesville. Yeah, but they're AB... AB Rustic Relics. Thank you. Trying to get him to participate here. So, uh... She was telling me that she had the flu, 104 temperature. She just got over the flu, not the virus. The flu, bless her heart. She was miserable. So, Emma, take care of yourself. God bless. And Big Bad Brad, take care of your wife. I know you do. So, stay healthy. Be safe. Be wise. You got those kids there with you. I know you got it, Big Bad Brad. You got it all in control, you and the wife does. So, I'm going to say, okay, that's my little, uh, speech on the coronavirus here in Texas. Uh, I know some other reviewers are doing it. Uh, I'm trying to refrain of doing a video on it, but I thought, well, maybe it's time to do a video and let people know my feelings what I'm doing to protect me and my friends and loved ones and uh, as much as I know about what's going on in the pin community, in the pin world, I'll share with you and if I hear any more information uh, about pin friends in the pin world, what's happening, I will do another video and keep you all informed. Uh, Liz Colton, thank you so much for sending me that recipe for the uh, disinfectant to, I can make up to clean tables and whatever I need to clean. So, folks, I'm going to wrap it up, say take care my friends, be safe, be really safe, please don't panic. Take care, God bless, and as always my friends, don't text and drive. And from Cubby and Mr. Announcer, peace out. Later folks.